Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to cover HDRI image use in DaVinci Resolve. So I'm gonna show you how to find some really great HDRI images for free that are royalty free for your projects. And I'm gonna show you how to format those HDRI images to fit within DaVinci Resolve. Then I'm gonna jump into Resolve and show you how to put those into a 3D space in DaVinci Resolve. So you can use them for background images or really whatever you'd like to use them for in your projects. So let's jump right into HDRI images. Okay, one of the best places right now to find HDRI images is HDRI Haven. And basically it's put on by three artists and they've taken all the images and loaded them onto this awesome site here. And these images go up to 16K textures. They're licensed as CC0, which is public domain. I'm not an attorney, but make sure you check into all the usage. But basically according to their site, you can use them for whatever you'd like to use them for and they operate on donations. So take a look at those, and if you're downloading and using them for projects and making money on them, consider giving back to these guys because they're providing a great resource. You can just go on to HDRI Haven, click on this HDRIs, and then pick the category you want, or just go through and scroll through here. So let's go ahead and download one here. We'll go to Urban. Let's give this one a shot, Urban Street 2. And we can see all of our image sizes. Actually, they're up to 19K on some of these, but these are huge files, so keep that in mind. You're gonna be working with your memory allotment on your machine, and you're gonna to have to do a lot of caching on your hard drive if you use these huge, really huge images. So I usually use 4K or 8K if I'm doing this, so let's go ahead and download that. You just click on it, and it'll start to download there. So next, locate the file on your hard drive. And I'm gonna use Affinity products. If you wanna use Photoshop or another image manipulation program, that's great. But I know Affinity will do this. So I'm gonna open it in Affinity Photo. Okay, once we have the image open in Affinity, we're gonna go ahead and export it right away. That's all we need to do. Export, and we wanna use an EXR file. So choose that selection in Export Settings. And under more here, there's some additional options for compression. So you can see the estimated file size right now, it actually grew, is 31.19 megabytes. And this was originally 26 megabytes to start with. So hit this more, and you can see it's using the standard zip. And their zip and zips are the standard compression for EXR. But DaVinci Resolve will open other compression types. And so we're gonna use one of these DreamWorks here. So I'm gonna use DreamWorks AB, which is a little bit more compressed than AA. So let's go ahead and do that. Select that, close that, and go ahead and hit export. And it's calculating now. So now it's 8.13 megabytes. Export that. And I've already got it saved here, so I'm not gonna resave it now. All right, so let's start setting up this project. I'm in Resolve in the edit page. I'm gonna go ahead and go to effects here, grab a fusion composition and drag it on the timeline. I'm gonna increase the length of this clip here out to about eight seconds. And let's go ahead and go to the fusion page. Okay, so I need to add some things to the flow area and I wanna grab a shape 3D and I wanna grab my original EXR image. So let's go ahead and find that. Place that right in the flow area there. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it into this shape and let's take a look and see what's going on there. You can see that's pretty bad there because I have a plane. Let's hit the inspector up here in the upper right with our 3D shape selected and we're gonna change this to sphere. All right, so that looks like a pretty good start there. I wanna increase these subdivisions a little bit, so make it a little bit more round here. So that kind of cleans up some of the jaggedness a little bit. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna add a Merge 3D in here, and I also need to add a camera. So go ahead and, and connect in the shape into the Merge 3D, add a 3D camera in here. And then we're gonna render this. So we're gonna add a render node out here, a render 3D node. Okay, so we're getting an image there output. And let's go ahead and move this shape 3D and see if it's doing what we wanna do here. So that's pretty good. We're getting a start here. So we're, we're seeing this as a background. So whatever we place our camera to, and I'm just spinning the sphere around, 
by rotating the Y here. And so we're gonna make an adjustment to this camera here. And so we have a pretty, like a 35 millimeter focal length and I wanna reduce that down quite a bit. So now we're seeing a little bit more view here with this 11.5 millimeter length. And we can move this up a little bit, this camera up a little bit. So I feel like I'm laying down on the street there. Okay, so if we wanted to go in and animate this, we could just animate this camera really easily. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And say I want to start kind of on these buildings. And then over here, actually I'm going to go this way and kind of just shoot it to the middle of the street there. Go back to the edit page here. So this is really great. I mean, we do 360s, we can do whatever we want. So if we have these images that we shoot in the field and we stitch them together, or we have 360 degree cameras, they'll do this kind of like the GoPro type camera. Then we can just use them as scenes in any DaVinci Resolve project, which is really cool. So the next video, I'm gonna show you how to insert 3D objects or 3D text into these scenes. And to demonstrate the HDRI maps, I'm going to apply a chrome texture to the text. And then I'm going to use the HDRI images as a reflection map in the 3D text. And that'll be coming out shortly, so take a look for that. But for now, thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions on how to set this up and resolve or having other issues, please let me know. Or if you have any other links for great HDRI images, please post them in the comments below. Everybody can take a look at that and maybe find some other sources for these images. But thanks a lot for watching. Take care, everybody.